Now, Jim, here's the other interesting point about this, right? When the car, the SUV was searched, you know, right after what happened, they didn't find these drugs. And then after the defense asked for a subsequent search, I think in December, this past December, they found these pills. I don't understand. How is that possible? I mean, I, we kind of heard an explanation yesterday, but what do you think's going on here? Well, I think what the defense did was say, hey, look, it wasn't us. We 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 had no access to this vehicle, so we didn't plant the, the pills there. And, and I, I think the state had to put on these witnesses, basically, because you put them on in the state's case at the end of the day, after you've had all of this compelling testimony, especially earlier in the week, about this use of force being unreasonable. You don't want the defense to call these witnesses in some sort of aha moment where, oh, he had drugs in the car and make it seem bigger than it is. You do it at the end of the day, the jurors are kind of, you know, some of them are, are, are falling asleep a little, and it's just a big nothing. And I think at the end at the end of this trial, that's what those witnesses' testimony are going to be, a big nothing. The more important point, as Julie said, what was in George Floyd's system? What impact would that have on the body? And I think at the end of the day, the experts are going to show it's not the drugs that killed him, it's the lack of oxygen to the brain from the pressure on his back, positional asphyxiation, and the knee on the neck. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that apparently they didn't find the drugs because they, they didn't they weren't told to look for <laughs> drugs. And then they were told and ultimately said, oh, look, we found it. Now we know this is important. Little strange point from yesterday. Anyway, we're going to take a break. Uh, I'm keeping a careful eye on the courtroom feed. If it goes live, we will go live. Stay tuned here on Long Crime. We'll be right back.